not given a point and a slope, you're given a point and another point. And you need to find the slope. So step number one is going to be find the slope. And we're going to use our slope formula, which is the difference of the y's divided by the difference of the x's. And we will get second y minus first y, 7 minus 5, divided by second x minus first x, 3 minus a negative 2. And that will give us 2 fifths as the slope. Now we look at the information we have. We've got a point, slope, and another point. We've got actually got more information than we need. So I'm going to then tell you to choose either point. You will get the same answer either way. So it's your choice which one you want to use. I'm going to choose the 3, 7 only because there's no negatives right there. And now I'm going to choose that point and that slope and have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That's our point slope formula. y minus y1. The y1 will be my 7. y minus 7 equals m 2 fifths times x minus 3. There's our answer. All we need to do is convert it into the form we're interested in. Distributing gives us y minus 7 equals 2 fifths x minus 6 fifths. And then we need to add 7 to both sides. Technically on the right here I want to add something that's over 5. 7 over 1 is the same as 35 over 5. And we will then have y equals 2 fifths x plus 29 fifths. Now, this is checkable. Let me remind you. This is the equation of the line which passes through these two points. If we wanted to, we could plug in negative 2 for x and find y as the value coming out on the left. And likewise, we should be able to find that 3, 7 satisfies the equation also. In the next problem, pattern problem D, the line passes through this point and the line is parallel to this given line. You need to find the slope of this line that it's parallel to. And we're going to find the slope by taking the standard form and converting it into slope-intercept form. Subtracting the 3x on each side will give you negative that's a 3x I'm subtracting. Let's try that again. It will give us negative 4y equals negative 3x plus 11. And then we want to divide through by negative 4. And we will have y equals 3 quarters x minus 11 fourths. That tells us we are going to use m equals 3 fourths as our slope and we're going to use the point negative 5 1 negative 5 1 there's my closed parentheses and there's my point slope which we will substitute now into the point slope formula and every time you rewrite this point slope formula you get to memorize it all the better so here we go, y minus y1, that becomes y minus 1 equals 3 quarters times x minus a negative 5 becomes x plus 5. We're going to do some distribution over here on the right. That will give us y minus 1 equals 3 quarters x plus 15 quarters. We want to add 1 to both sides, but instead of 1 over 1, I want to write that as 4 over 4, so that I can have my common denominator over here on the right to add with. And that will give us y equals 3 quarters x plus 19 quarters as our solution.